Hi guys, welcome back. This is 2000 Game Mega Gameplay Reader Figure Fantasy Content. So in this video, we're a bit late, but like I'm just putting this one so that I will not get lagged back with what's happening with the game itself. Okay, I just want to put it out there for people to see. If you've already seen this one, um, you can skip this. But like if you enjoy hearing my voice and if you enjoy my tips and what I do while I'm sorting this one out like please do stay and please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for further notification for all figure fantasy related updates okay so I'll be giving you more updates as time goes on when there's new content coming into the game and if there's any advice that I can give to the community I usually do so okay so we're gonna be doing the soul of slot card and torment so Again, Crucial would be a very, very good character here. And I've been hearing from lots of content creators as well and in the Chinese server as well that Crucial, technically, quote-unquote, at endgame, has highest damage dealing damage compared to Zerola. Not quite sure, that, that, but that's what they're say, telling, okay? <laughs> that's what they're telling. So, so let's do this. Um, I need to put Insani in the middle so that she can hit everybody there. And in the hopes of me... Winning this, I'll try to put in like criticals on crits, and let's do this one, okay? So again, Alfred does the initial attack. And I hope I can finish this one with 21 seconds to go. That's why I'm in manual mode, ugh. Let's do this one. I'm in manual mode. That's why. That's why. Let's do auto. <laughs> I'm in manual mode. That's why it's like, why am I dying? Let's put in auto. Hopefully this works. Boom. You need to put Sunny in the middle so that she can AOE damage the all of the enemies. So Suzumi, also a vanguard, but like she has sustain with the boxes. It heals herself. Alfred becomes like really really fast in attacking and he becomes um, immortal for a bit so I hope it's less than 21 seconds and I hope Crucial does lots of damage here so clear within 21 seconds I think I'm about to clear this and yeah it's clear oh, that's good okay try again two runs as you know about this channel we do two runs so my mentality is Suzumi for the sustain, Alfred also for the sustain frontliners. So Alfred also has an AOE damage at the start of the stage and he becomes immortal for a bit and attacks very quickly. Suzumi also is a sustain. She's a bit squishy but with the boxes it heals her up to he like to keep her more sustainable moving forward. Sunny by the way is also a nuker, an AOE damage nuker. Also deals frost damage but wherever the AOE hits if you have allies surrounding that AOE damage that she's taking, you will get heals on that one as well. Zephyr, as usual, the most OP healer in the game, also gives energy so that you can get more turns. And then Crucial also deals damage to the characters by inflicting curse. Okay? So, yeah. Very easy. That's it for the first. So, we go to the second. Torment. Let's go to the torment stages. So where are we at now? So torment wise, who are we picking? So we're picking in, there's a lot of characters here. I need to be a bit more picky with this. So I need to have Rie. Rie has an AOE damage, but it's like random, six attacks. So I'm gonna put her there because like it creates more damage to that and then we'll protect her with Crusos. Crusos again with an AOE damage also has a chance to stun the enemies as well also has a sustain because when he's hitting he gains life we'll put in Sakura at the back so to protect her she also is one of the only characters in the game who silences enemies good in PvP and PvE as well so that you can lock down the bosses she also heals by the way so she's a great sustain um, we'll put in you Yuina, so she's more of a damage dealer compared to Rico because Rico only deals like a provokes and the damage is less compared to Yuina because like her damage is much higher. And then we'll put in this guy, <laughs> the Inuyasha guy, Sa Akechi, 
So Akechi also is a frost damage dealer. Let's put him there. And let's start with this. Hopefully this one works. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll swap. We'll swap with this one. Wait. No, nope, we'll swap with this. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully this works. So use Yuina Mizuki deal the most damage. So I hope she deals more damage because she's the one hitting the middle. I'm not quite sure this is a good decision of mine putting Yuina going inside the team, the heart of the enemy's territory. Not Crusas, but we'll see. Okay, Yuina's getting hit hard. Oh no. Oh no, Yuina, go. Nice, heal up, heal up. You can do it, Yuina. Oh, look at the heals. Boom. Rie, go. Nice. Are we winning? Okay. Yuina. 30 seconds. 4 seconds. 2, 1. Stunner. Nice. Okay. That's good. That's good. We've cleared that. And then we'll try it again. Yuina is a good nuker as well. Because like as per, as per the instruction here. Use Yuina for that she needs to deal the damage. The highest dealing damage in this stage okay if not you're screwed but like again rng plays really a vital role in playing this um clearing the stages so yeah i'm just good maybe the rng is really on my side so again two runs as usual so i'm putting in this video again guys it might be late because i've been doing very very busy in my real life activities here <laughs> not in youtube but like yeah i hope you still do support the channel please do like subscribe hit the bell icon for for further notification with regards to all figure fantasy related topics okay guys so if i feel again that there's an update or if there's any tips that i can share to you guys or any updates with regards to my account i'll be sharing that to you guys without any filter whatsoever and she died omg she died try again so maybe i'll just swap it her like swap her with this one like let's see if this works so she died again with the RNG. I was lucky there because I was like thinking Yuina will tank all of the damage surrounding that one because she's going in the middle. So I think Crusus is much better in the mid. So I just swapped them together like I just swapped them. Yes, hopefully this run is much more smoother compared to the run that I did earlier. So I still love this game to the point I'm not gonna be quitting this game anytime soon because like I have lots of fully wishes and I have lots of things to do. I like to collect things especially this one like the mechanics of this collecting figurine is such a joy to like a joy to myself because again if you watch my previous video I like collecting figurines especially anime figurines and by doing so this game reminds me of that. I don't have that much money <laughs> to collect more figurines like when I was a, a younger kid but like right now yeah this is the closest that i can get so i'm enjoying myself to the fullest okay this game is really good really really good you can still play this one pay to win or free to play no problem as long as you save those fully wishes guys so again this 2300 gaming bring you another figure fantasy content i'm gonna be putting in another content for soul of impurity that's gonna be after this okay just wanna put in the work okay for you guys so again if you go here it's very important that you get this one this is for your badges and this is for your equipments okay for your gears to get upgraded so just do this one and sweep and then hopefully get get all of those and i hope you guys like this video like and subscribe again this 2300 gaming bring another figure fantasy content and i hope you guys like my new avatar i'll be switching up things different things for my new avatar just to like uh, put in the motive okay guys i'll see you guys on the next one peace out